Hello and welcome to another random tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to install the latest stable release of the Postgres database. Uh, I'm showing you this on CentOS 7 which is the latest release for the CentOS operating system. For a tutorial on how to install CentOS 7 you can check out my install CentOS 7 tutorial. I also have one on installing CentOS 6.6 .6, which is the version before. Okay, so let's go on with it, shall we? First thing you need to do is open your terminal and you need to change user to root. Oh, our previous failed login. Then you need to open your web browser. And you need to look for the Postgres repository if you navigate to that it's CentOS is part of the Red Hat Linux family and if you scroll down I'll put the link these links in the description here you can see there is Postgres 9.6 this is in beta so the latest stable release is 9.5 and I want that for CentOS 7. If you obtain the link, copy link location, go back to your terminal window and type yum install and paste your link. This will add the Postgres repository to your yum repository. <coughs> so if you check out your yum you should see it available here. There you go. Now to install, you type yum, open y, install, postgres, 9.5 and star. This is to install every package for the latest postgres release. This might take a few minutes depending on your machine, so I'll speed this up and we'll get back to it when at the end and there you go and now we have Postgres installed um, and if you check out here there is now a Postgres user see and if you try and connect to database you'll see here cannot connect to database as the server is not running so the first thing you need to do is actually start the Postgres service. You do this by first sudoing into as Postgres user, navigate to the bin location that's been installed and if you look in here you will see this init database that is what you need to execute so you type that, initialize database hyphen D which will be your default database location this can change depending on your install but in most cases this this is what it will be again I'll put this in the description okay so the database now exists if you try and connect now you'll still see that the service needs to actually be started so again if you check here it actually gives you the command that you need to start the service. It doesn't have to be exact, but if you check here, you can see you're in the right directory. There is PG control. Type PG control D, the database where you, the directory where you've just created your database and start. And there you go. And there you go, you can connect. And if you type L, slash L there, you can see your databases. And that is that, you're good to go with Postgres now. Okay. Any questions, hit me up in the description or on Twitter. And enjoy your database.